And we got the green light here on the Vegas Dawn Channel. Heading downtown. Towards the Fremont Street Experience. Boston Pizza there. Mm. Tattoo shop. Mm. As my son voices mm. his excitement about being here on Las Vegas Boulevard. Hotel Shalimar mm. on the right. Joan Collins, Michael Jordan were married here at that wedding chapel, I guess. To each other? I guess. Or maybe kidding. separately. <laughs> <laughs> Viva Las Vegas wedding chapel. My beautiful native Las Vegas born wife is here on the uh, in the pilot seat with me. See that hotel looks like it's seen better days. Monterey Motel family units. As so we come up to the light here at Charleston Boulevard. Siegel Suites over there. That's one of a chain in round town. And a Walgreens that has been boarded up and closed down. You usually don't see that. There's a red box back there. I don't think anyone's running movies out of there, not with the chain link fence up around it. And then back behind, no, I'm sorry, that's uh, down at Sahara. I was gonna say Naked City. But this is actually the Arts District here, behind this corner of Las Vegas Boulevard and Charleston Boulevard. Sahara and Las Vegas Boulevard has the uh, former Naked City up there on the northwest corner behind there. And it was named that because the pilots flying in to town would see the naked showgirls out there tanning themselves during the day to prepare themselves for the evening shows. And so as the pilots were flying in, they would see these women lying out naked, and uh, they called it Naked City. So come up here to the lighted gas avenue. We can see here on the right, the back of the gold and silver pawn shop. This is the dining and shopping district part of the Pawn Stars on the History Channel building right here on the right and right now there's no one no one there usually there's a line out front and there's a cannabis store Lone Palm come up here to the light at Bonneville which happened to catch us pizza and wings there we got the green light here at Bonneville proceeding northbound on Las Vegas Boulevard, and there you can see the D, along with the Circa, as we cross over Clark Avenue. This is a huge federal building here that is uh, a ghost town during the weekend. So we approach Bridger Avenue now. And so this is the, the uh, neighborhood you would be seeing if you were to, uh, and walking through, if you tried to walk from the strip up here to Fremont Street Experience, the 1.8 mile difference. The next light is Fremont Street. So we'll make a right here. Heart Attack Grill over there on the right, 350 pounds. And over, you eat free. They have a scale out front. You can step on the scale. There's Evil Knievel's Pizzeria. That's good stuff there. It's a little bit pricey, but... Uh, it's good stuff as you look at the nightclubs here lining Fremont Street. Sorry, not sorry, creamery, it says there. We all scream. Corduroy is that venue there. Commonwealth and downtown LE. Le Thai. So, Thai food there. El Cortez, another old-time Las Vegas venue that has expanded over the years. Collector's Gallery there. Looks like the perfect place to pawn your... It's a yellow light. And there's Container Park with the Praying Mantis there on the right. Comprised of shipping containers that are now home to shopping and dining and an individual lying on the 
swale here between the sidewalk and the street. And we got the green light here at 8th Street. If at first you don't succeed, then skydiving is not for you, it says on the marquee on the side of that building. Well, if you don't succeed the first time in skydiving, here is no second time or any other time. Ninth Street here. We'll go up here to Bruce Street and make a left. There's Atomic Liquors, which was featured in the first Hangover movie. It was uh, right in front of that venue that the uh, guys got T-boned by... And what is this here? Ferguson's Downtown. It used to be a motel, and they um, renovated it into like a shopping and dining destination. And it okay. has like a little outdoor area. Ah, very good. And they have live artists, um, I think every weekend. Okay. I'm completely unaware of that. And now our viewers know too. Star View Motel. So the, um, this is 13th Street as we continue eastbound here on Fremont Street. Um, so Mr. Chow T-bones the guys in his Escalade. He T-bones the, uh, the Benz that they're driving. And uh, that occurs right in front of Atomic Liquors there. We have an apartment building over here on the left. Let's see how quickly the neighborhood changes here from uh, Fremont Street Experience. Desert Moon Motel, Milan Bakery, Cars Direct here on the right, 17th Street, and they're selling some cars there. RV parked over on the other side of the street. I don't think that's probably legal, but it's not up to me. So we come up here to the light at Bruce Street and make the left to go northbound. Our correction, we're going to go eastbound. Now. Thank you. Let's see the homes lining Sunrise Avenue here. And uh, that front end is missing there on that car. We'll make a left here at 20th Street, or Cervantes Street, and uh, take a look at this little neighborhood here. A lot of on-street parking here. My guess is there's probably 10 plus folks were uh, living in each of these residences lining this street, which uh, explains all the cars. So we approach Ogden Avenue. Wait for that to clear. You can see the homes lining the street here. As we continue northbound now, that uh, wall that you see up in the uh, distance there, that is the US 95 slash US 93 slash Interstate 11 slash Interstate 515 multiple personality disorder that uh, travels through Las Vegas here. Todo Tipa de Ropa. And there is Stewart Market and Liquor. As we are now eastbound here on Stewart Avenue, passing through 21st Street. Lot for sale there. Approaching the light here at Eastern Avenue, a major north-south artery here in Las Vegas. Traveling all the way from the far south in Henderson. All the way up north to North Las Vegas, becoming Civic Center Drive, and then ending, ending unceremoniously north of Craig Road. As you can see the buildings and apartments around this intersection here. Continuing now eastbound on Stewart, we have some similarly colored and painted buildings over here on the left. Uncertain what kind of uh, housing development that is. As we come up to the light here, 28th Street in East Las Vegas. Variety School right there. And then you've got, uh, looks like a juice stand along with taco truck and then there's a uh, city of las vegas marshall 
right there. And over here on our left, we've got a cyber truck. Second one I've seen today. That's pretty interesting. More apartments over here on our left. Cash for phones. These apartments over here. Another taco stand. And another juice stand. They are ubiquitous over here. Come up here to light it. Mojave Road, and there's a Coca-Cola bottling company there in Las Vegas. Right on that corner. Got the green light here at Mojave Road crossing over. There is Las Vegas City Jail, from what I've told, I've been told by other viewers. They say this is not the Clark County Detention Center, but rather the Las Vegas City Jail. Here on the left, so if you party too hardy down on Fremont Street, this is where you probably end up. The barbed wire fencing there on the top and getting cut off by a Kia because their lane ends over there. So we approach the, low, the uh, light here at Picos, Pecos Road. A bunch of litter here on the side of the road from a bunch of people that promise nothing and deliver nothing. <laughs> 